two and welcome to lesson four of describing position and in today's lesson we are going to be using uh, what we've understood from mathematical language and using um, that to interpret directions to make a simple journey is the key vocabulary that we have learned so far we have above, below, under, on top of, in front of, behind, next to, beside, to the left of, to the right of, in between, inside, outside. We've also um, been using these words, forwards, backwards, to the left, to the right, a turn, half a turn, a whole turn, quarter of a turn, three quarters of a turn, clockwise, and when we talk about clockwise, we talk about the direction of the hands, so that when it goes clockwise, and then we talk about anti-clockwise, which is going the, the hands going the opposite way. We've also used the compass directions, north, east, west, and south. So today we are going to be concentrating on using the terms to the left, to the right, forward, backwards, a turn, half a turn, a whole turn, quarter of a turn, three quarters of the turn, clockwise and anti-clockwise. To recap, I want you to hold out your hands in front of you, just like I've got on the screen. And which is your left hand and which is your right hand? So if you remember, your left hand forms the letter U as you can see on the slide and there's your right hand so the hand that makes the L shape or the L shape is your left hand another recap clockwise and anti-clockwise so clockwise you go around to your right anti-clockwise you go around to your left so I'm going to demonstrate to you now the different turns. So first of all, I'm going to demonstrate to you one whole turn clockwise. Now, when we talk about clockwise, we've got to imagine a clock and it goes that way round. So I'm going towards my right. So this is one whole turn going to my right. Now I'm going to do anti-clockwise. Now I know it's anti-clockwise because I've got my for left and I go towards my left. So this is one whole turn anti-clockwise. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you half a turn. So I'm facing towards you and I'm gonna turn clockwise. So I'm gonna to go towards my right, half a turn. So here's, I'll turn clockwise, half a turn. Okay, now I'm going to turn anti-clockwise, I'm going towards my left, half a turn. So that's half a turn, that's half a turn anti-clockwise. So now I'm going to do a quarter of a turn. Imagine a clock, remember how we did time earlier this term? So we're going to do a quarter of a turn. So it's imagine if that's 12 o'clock, that's six o'clock, that'd be three o'clock, and that would be nine o'clock. So a quarter of the turn would be towards the three. So I'm going to turn clockwise a quarter of a turn. So I've turned quarter of a turn clockwise. Now I'm going to do a quarter of a turn anti-clockwise. I'm going to go towards my left. I'm going to imagine that my nine o'clock's over there quarter of a turn. So I've turned a quarter of a turn 
anti-clockwise. And the last one I'm going to model to you is three quarters of the turn. So if you imagine on the clock three quarters of the turn, I'd go to three o'clock, then to six o'clock, then to nine o'clock. So I'm going to go three quarters of the turn clockwise. So that's one quarter, two quarters, three quarters. So I'm now facing, I've now turned three quarters of a turn clockwise. Now I'm going to turn three quarters anti-clockwise. I'm going towards my left. So one quarter, two quarters, three quarters. So I'm now face, I've turned three quarters of a turn anti-clockwise. Now we've recapped on the language regarding turns, I'm going to model to you how to follow in directions for a simple journey. So as you can see, I have my goose there and I'm going to send my goose on a journey following some directions. So first of all, I'm going to move forward two squares. So there's my duck, so I'm going to move one step, two steps. There he is. Then I'm going to make a quarter of a turn anti-clockwise. So I'm going to head this way, I'm going to go up. So I'm going to turn so I'm facing this way. Then I'm going to move forward one square. So where the X is, is where I've landed. Here's another example. I've got my dragon here. First of all, my dragon's going to move forward three squares. So I'm going to go one, two, three. So there's where we should be. Then I'm going to make a quarter of a turn clockwise. So I should be facing that way. And I'm going to move forwards two squares. So if I'm facing that way and going forward, I should end up there. There's my dragon. Then I'm going to make a quarter of a turn clockwise. So I'm now going to face that way. I'm going to go, go in that direction. And I'm going to move forwards three squares. So one, two. So with this question, we're going to do it together. So where would the sheep end up if it moved two steps forwards? Well, the sheep is facing this direction. So he's looking down. If I was going forward, I'll be going this way. If I went this way, it would be going backwards. So two steps forwards, one, two, so I would be there. Now I've got to turn clockwise. Now clockwise is where I'm turning towards my right. So I've got to turn towards my right here. Remember I'm facing forward. So it, on the screen it looks to your left, but it's actually to your right. And I've got to move one step forward. So I'd be standing here. So that's where the sheep is. Here's another question. Where would the duck end up if it moved three steps forward, a quarter turn, anti-clockwise, one step forward, a quarter of a turn, anti-clockwise, two steps forward? Well, what I would like you to do is pause the video and work this out before you press play. So here's my duck. I'm going to walk three steps forward. So I'm going this direction because that's the direction my duck is facing. So I've got one, two, three. So this is where my duck is. Now I'm going to turn 
anti-clockwise a quarter of a turn. So clockwise, if the 12 is in this point, the 3 here, the 6 here, and the 9's there. If I'm turning anti-clockwise, I'm turning towards this way. So I'm turning left a quarter of a turn. So I'm going to turn left, and then I've got to take one step forward. So I should arrive here. Now I'm going to turn anti-clockwise again. So I'm facing forward. So this is now my 12, a quarter of a turn to my left. So I'll be now facing towards this direction. And I've got to take two steps, one, two. So this is where my duck Okay, to do your fluency, you are going to need to um, do it on the slides. And if you go to the top of your screen, you will see uh, an arrow, a square with a T in it, a picture, shape, and then this symbol here that's lying, and you've got an arrow next to it. So if you click on the arrow, and put select arrow so what you've got to do is it says you've got to draw the route using arrows showing the direction so here's my first instruction move forward two squares so this is the ladybird and I've got to move forward two squares so one two so if I click where the ladybird is hold my mouse and then click here the computer draws an arrow for you, okay? Now I've moved two squares forward, so now it says make a quarter of a turn clockwise and move two squares. So if I'm going clockwise, I'm going towards my right and I've got to move forward two spaces. So that would be one space, that would be two space. So if I click on my arrow again, click where I'm starting, and then when, where I finish there, so it's drawn my second arrow. And then the final instruction says make a quarter of a turn anti-clockwise, move one square forward. Well, if I'm going anti-clockwise, I'm going to my, to my left and I'm going to end up where the X is. So I click at the top there on arrow. Go from the square that I've just left all the way to the X. <coughs> so that's how you can use this line function that says arrow to help you with your fluency. Now you've got this fluency question, which I've just modeled to you. And you can go back to the video to see how we use the arrow pointer to help us draw. We've got this question, this question, and these two questions. And you use the arrow key just here to help you draw it. Here is your probing question. It says, convince me that going forward four squares and turning a quarter turn clockwise and then going forward three squares has the same result as turning quarter for turn clockwise, going forward three squares, then turning a quarter for turn anti-clockwise and going forward four squares. Now, just like we did with the fluency, if you go to the top of the screen, you've got a square with a T in, like a picture square, a, um, a symbol with shapes, and then a picture with a line if you click on the little arrow and click arrow and what you can do is on the slide you could draw the direction that you're taking when you follow these so you could do one in one color so i'm just drawing arrows at the moment i'm not following the instruction now to change the color of your arrows if you click on that pen and it says line color click 
click on it do red you can change the color of the arrow so you could draw the first set of instructions in one color and the next set of instructions in another color if you're not so confident draw out a square that's five across and five down and draw it out on the square or on square paper and send me a picture that concludes our lesson on reading instructions and following them to for a simple journey now tomorrow we will be writing our own instructions and we're going to be drawing a pirate map and writing instructions for mrs sadler to follow don't forget you can do the work on the slides today if you really struggle doing it on the slides there is a pdf version that you can use that you could print out if you've got a printer at home and do it at home or you could draw it in your book Bye for now and I will see you tomorrow.